All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our uh, next lesson, uh, the Unit 6, which will be the enculturation. And uh, let me check the enculturation and socialization. So let me share the screen for you to follow the discussion. All right. This is it. Enculturation and socialization. So we will be talking about all of this. What is all about? What is the significance of this when uh, we are living in this world? Okay, let's proceed. Say enculturation and socialization. Aristotle once said that man is a social animal. So meaning humans are by nature, social beings that regularly interact with their environment. So interpersonal reaction, interaction is therefore innate and common among human beings. So it's, uh, it's the, what we call that, it's connected with the saying that a no man is an island. So basically, we uh, human beings are innate, uh, socially inclined, it means that uh, we really need others for us to survive. Okay. Uh, diba, wala paman tayo na ilhan nga. Siya lang isa. Siya lang isa dyan naka-survive. Uh, I, I don't know about others, but uh, dominantly, part, uh, dominantly uh, people in the world are actually a uh, social being. So we actually depend on other when in terms of uh, food, shelter, and even if uh, uh, this uh, feelings, we need this uh, warmth from our parents, from our friends. We need this uh, interaction among uh, other people in order for us to survive. All right. Social interaction builds characters, characters and identities. As a person, you are now is not solely dependent on your biological characteristics but your experiences with people and your environment so this actually means that uh kung what we are right now uh is actually based on our uh biological characteristics or the genes that we uh uh we na namana natin from our parents but actually it's based on dominantly it's based from our experiences with other people and environment. Uh, one of the very good examples with this is, uh, for example, an American citizen, citizen is, uh, was born in the Philippines and raised in the Philippines. So biologically speaking, makita uh, natin na he is purely American, he can salute, he can say yang, uh, so, so the way so, yang, yang postura, it's actually American, but uh, the attitude itself, the attitude, the characteristics, the, the, the way how he speaks is actually uh, based on the environment where he live in. So possible siya, bisan pag ba, American by nature siya, pag dari siya magpuyo sa Philippines or bisan asa around the world, kung asa siya yung gidaktan, so basically, uh, 100% Mauna iyahang culture and language na ma first, um, I mean, ma learn first. So that's actually what uh, social interaction characters and identities. All right. So, in preceding this uh, topic, we will have, uh, we will be guided by these essential questions. Okay. How are identities formed? What are the differences, uh, difference between norms and values? Later on, we will. Uh, Differentiate this to how do statuses and roles affect a person's social interaction? So, so paano ba nakaka-affect to yung uh, uh, level natin sa society or your, our status in the society in relation to interacting with each other? Kung, kung dato ba ka, dagan ba makaila, or pobre ba ka, dagan ba gamay ba kag makaila. So that's what we will be learning for today. Right? Let's proceed. We have here identity formation. So how do how do psychologists and sociologists explain identity formation? Right? I'm going to say, 
identity formation, it can be illustrated below with the use of this Juhari window. Uh, are you familiar with this? This is actually uh, uh, called Juhari window model, all right? As you can see here, we have here this one. As a left, upper left side, nakita uh, natin it's the open uh, arena, uh, area or arena. Okay. Kanidaw dari na side, it's uh, describe the rida na naatay uh, characteristic na kabalutas atong sarili and naapotay characteristics na uh, kabalo ang others in, sa ato ah. So, dari sa ubus, sa up, uh, lower left side, uh, dari ang uh, na adult type part na uh, kabalutas sa atong self, kabalutas sa atong karakteristik, pero ang uban, wala kabalo anak. So, yun, Anna, siya pagka-explain dari sa Juhari window. And here, sa blind spot, we have here the upper right side na adult type characteristic na wala takabalo, pero ang others kabalo ta. Si ba, di ba, usahay ka na itong mga friends, may nang sila nga, kung ano nagkikaay ka ng ana na, oh, skin, di ba, makaingan ka, skin, kung ano na ko. So, this actually explained here in Juhari window model. So, kanang kanang wala takabalo sa, we are unconscious of our characteristics, but others see us, see that to us. So, that's, uh, that's the, what explained here in a blind spot. Okay, the last one is unknown. Okay, kani siya, wala takabalo sa itong sarili ani, and also the others, either ang uban or kita, wala takabalo sa itong sarili. Natay wala nabalaan sa itong sarili. Kung sila na po'y wala nabalaan sa itong sarili. So that's actually what uh, the Juhari window model explains our characteristics or identity, I mean, our identity formation, all right? Let's proceed. Socialization and enculturation. What do we mean by socialization and enculturation? All right? Uh, socialization is a lifelong social process where people develop their individual potentials and learn or adapt culture. It's basically uh, the process Higan sa itong pag-anak until mamatay ta, it's a process, it's a lifelong process na ginadevelop sa nato uh, para makita nato ito individual potentials and kabalot ta mo adapt into other culture. So, for example, uh, if you're a kind of person na sige, transfer, transfer, o oh, iskwelahan. So, uh, it's uh, understandable na uh, you can able to adjust with different environments. Kaya naman, uh, when we adjust on the, the uh, environment, we can able to uh, express ourselves. We can see our potentials. Na, ah, pwede da ako, pwede da ako makihalubilo ani, pwede da ako mubilong sa ila. At the same time, you can able also to see yourself. Uh, no, wala ni mo na ilhan uh, from your previous culture nga na belong. So, that's actually what uh, socialization is, right? Uh, the Filipino people are no exemption with the process of socialization. We are born and we immediately exposed to different social activities that shape our perceptions and personalities. Uh, even as two young children, we are taught uh, to have this respect to our uh, elderly, sa itong mga lolo, sa itong mga lula, sa tanan, magulang na itong mga magpapa, tanan. Uh, could be shown through a practice of mano, pwede mo, uh, kisa po may nag-practice dari og mano, and saying po and opo, usually uh, this is very common, ang saying po and opo on the Tagalog areas, Tagalog speaking, uh, Tagalog speaking language areas. Uh, there is a two, ang common na is po, uh, sorry, common na is ang mano magbless. That's uh, the mother tongue uh, label na to, magbless. And dili lang kay magbless lang ka kay mga yung pagkwarta sa imong nino or nina. But actually, naanda na nato na siya. Mulakaw sa balay, mulik sa balay. So, naiuban nga, Aside sa mag-bless, mag-kiss po sila, mag-beso-beso sila. So, uh, 
uh, ingat anak pagi hapon. So, kamu nak praktis pagi hapon ba mo anak? Because um, kami nak praktis pagi hapon ni anak. And I hope nak praktis pagi hapon ni anak. It's because that's uh, something that we should be proud of as a Filipino. Alright. Uh, our socialization and culturation interrelated concepts. Okay. Enculturation, on the other hand, is the process where an individual or a group learns culture through experience or observation. So, for example, you are not belong to that culture and but maalto ka niya culture. So, you can learn that culture uh, biologically, dili, dili, maunti na imong culture. But through enculturation, na badulong makadiha, you can able to experience that culture and observation. Pwede siya mukuyo siya ka niya ang lugar, pwede ka makitaan lang ni mga lugar, and uh, pwede ni mo siya matanawan lang siya na lugar. And even, pero I don't believe, kana nag mga silingan na to sa unang uh, mga ito lang ganig Manila. Pag isa, isa ka tuig ka ganig dito, pagbalik diri sa ato, uh, adari, hindi nakabalo mong bisaya. So I, I don't think na uh, ano na siya. But dili siya na ito na siya mabintan ang ato ang uh, uh, mother culture that uh, because the process of enculturation says that uh, dili ni mo siya makalearn ka sa uban pero dili ni mo malimtan tong imo uh, sarili nga culture okay is an important part of socialization because because it enables culture to be shared among members of the society pwede ni mo siya ma-share and as you may have already learned culture is important because it facilitates uh, identity formation and it enables one to acquire unique qualities which are common to a specific social group and embracing culture therefore could be likened to valid group membership okay uh, we have here nature versus nurture okay what do you think is the difference between nature and nurture when we say nature uh, Nature principle, human personality and identity is inborn and inherited. So, inborn siya, that's your nature. Nature, nature na ko nga itong judgo, so that's my nature. So, yun na siya. So, that's actually inborn and inherited. Pero I don't know. <laughs> na, as ako naliwat na yung pagkabal, pagkabalibuod. So, so Alright. Okay. This would mean that who, that who we are, our individuals, are primarily shaped by our genetics. That's what ge nature means. Meanwhile, supporters of the nurture principles emphasizes that our personalities now are shaped from birth onwards social forces that we interact with. So, for example, nature, your nature, if you na inherit, that's your culture, logo. But when say when we say nurture, it's the personalities na to na na shape gikan sa pagkat pag silang kas ng mundo nito pag pagkanan pag ano sa term ano ay paggawas ni mo dres kalibutan hantod kama wala it's your uh, based by social forces and based on the people we interact with so dili man pwede nga uh, mag uh, nga dali ta ka learn atong mga uh, culture nga wala nato na interact because ila ang culture pero around your uh, wide axis sa imong pinaka mas na interact so mao na siya ang uh, nurture like for example i don't really believe on the uh, the children kanan mga bata gud nga uh, iyang mama o papa uh, gusto sa iyang mama o papa kanang usually mga bata karon hard kasi sila english so napoy uban nga ginatry nila nga uh, english speaking ilang anak namis silingan charla dila ko kapes kita sa ani video <laughs> uh, nami uh, nami kining ang uban mga gud ginapugo sila nga dapat akong anak dapat ilang anak uh, english speaking jud siya Actually, they tried it, but you know, the environment kasi has a great factor and a big factor in growing a child. I mean, bisan pag unsa unimo pag imply anak sa bata nga dapat English speaking siya, if 
ang palibot sa bata, ang mga auntie sa bata, ang mga angkol sa bata, tila tita, nagka-interact sila sa bata using a vernacular language. So it's hard for the child to grow up na kining uh, totally English to the language uh, ingin anak siya. So, ang tendency ano, magka-mix-mix na siya. For example, kanang bata ang gusto siya itagalog lang sa, ba, sa mga mama, pero sila mga silingan, marunggan sa mga bata na nag-resila yung mga silingan. So, ang tendency ano, makonyo na na ang bata, mag magka-mix na na ang, ang languages na iyahang na percept, na, na perceive sa iyahang sarili. So, that's actually uh, how does an environment molds a particular person. So, that's what we call nurture. Ang mga natunan na to based sa ito ang pag-interact with the other culture through social forces. Alright? Let's proceed. Uh -huh. Since beginning of the debate, theories have tried to prove each other wrong by engaging in various studies. Identical twins have been subject to of research wherein theories aim to discover if biological factors and environmental factors play a role in the development of a twin's personalities. Alright. Uh, Dili siya pasabot na gipanganak sila identical twins na uh, the same sila of noun, the same sila of ilong, the same sila of height, that's actually identical twins. Pero dili pa sabot nga nagdako sila, pariha sila o apichun. Na iuban na ako yung mga kaila, asun na adjugoy kaila, na identical twins, pero lahat sila perception sa ilang kinabuhi. So, that's actually, sure nasa kong atubangan ka rin. <laughs> Ang isa identical twin. Alright. Studies about thinking and behavior as serial killers are also used to determine if predispositions in committing crimes were greatly influenced by genetic makeup or by social environmental factors. Okay. This means that, for example, if ang baby na tao siya, na iyang papa o mama is a criminal, dili siya pasabot na mahimo po siyang criminal. It's predetermined on the environment where he or she live in. Pero kung ang baby na dako po siya sa environment, na uh, mostly criminals, dako po factor na mapariha siya sa iyang mamagpapa. Pero, if ang baby na dako siya sa tarong na pamilya, uh, even though iyang mama o papa is a criminal, therefore, uh, dako po o chance na ang baby will greatly influence by social environmental factors. Alright? Theories of identity formation, as discussed earlier, socialization greatly influences personality and identity development. So there are different theories that explain how individuals from their identities. Okay, let us discuss each of them. It is very important to understand this. It's because uh, it's good for you na wala mo skip skip. Don't skip this video because I will be giving details. Uh, na wala sa quipper na kini kanideri a pero I will be including in exams. Alright, we will start on Simon Freud's uh, psychodynamic theory. Eh, si Simon Freud, it's he is very controversial theorist at the same time uh, because uh, later on we will talk about kanong uh, very ano siya kanang controversial. Uh, Simon Freud placed great emphasis on the unconscious in identity development. According to him, human beings have the basic needs to express their, I will highlight this, huh? sexual tensions and aggression. This actually made him a uh, notable uh, theorist, si Simon Freud. It's because of his theories in terms of sexual tensions and aggressions. And because these are typically not acceptable mechanisms in society, human beings suffer from anxiety that pave way for the development of neuroticism and other psychological fixations. Take note, psychological fixations. Later on, we'll be talking about that. 
Freud relied heavily on biology and genetics to explain human behavior, while his theories do not have any empirical basis. He still became the pillar in psychology among his contemporaries. All right. Let's try to look up with this one. Wait. I will try to share with you this screen. Uh, right, just wait for a while. I have something to uh, give you here. Pwede na siya. Ki-expan ako ang mga kuwan. Mga liliingon ato ng tab. Right. Have you seen here? Right. This is actually the uh, psychosexual stages of development of Simon Freud. Right. Okay. We have oral, anal, phallic, Latin, and genital. So, uh, this theory ni Simon Freud, baon ni siya, isa sa pinaka uh, nahimo niya ka ng, uh, became controversial one because of this. When I say oral, it focus on the mouth, sucking and swallowing. And anal, the anus, withholding or expelling uh, places. Uh, next, phallic, the penis or clitoris, uh, masturbation, it focuses on that. Latent, little or no sexual motivation present. And sa genital, nibalik siya ang penis and vagina. The sexual intercourse. Diba, garbage mo. Feeling na ko orange niya tao si ko. Alright, let's proceed to oral stage. Oral stage, this actually birth to one year. Mo occur doon siya birth to one year. In the first stage of personality development, uh, ang bata daw, active iyang oral. Tanan niyang... Uh, mapunitan uh, tanan niyang ma kining sa tawag ani oi eh? tanan niyang ma, ma magunitan ginakaon niya ginaingkit niya so yun ana do ka active ang um, oral stage between birth to one year according to Simon Freud in his theory of psychosexual so kani siya said that oral simulation could lead to oral fixation later life Alright, if ang bata daw, dili siya mga agi o fixation, possible kung yun ana siya na active ka, yun si kaon, pang kaon, kaon na yun ang gamit, dili na siya ma-correct ma, ma sa parent, dili na siya ma-balance. Uh, possible pag dako sa bata, very ka, very chismosa siya, chismosa, ano ba, kanang dili niya ginagamit yung tarong niyang bak -ba. So that's actually daw ang iyahang effect. Pero kung ma masuparaan po daw na siya, ang um, bata po, murag dili na siya nagatingog-tingog, dili ka siya matag siya ang opinion. That's, ano, uh, siya dapat mabalance lang siya. Alright. Sa anal stage, uh, quite, uh, kining, ko ano siya, uh, maselan, the libido now becomes focused on the anus. Dibagikan sa oral, ibalhin siya sa anus, and the child derives great pleasure of defecating. So, ganahan siya manihi, ganahan siya mag, ganang, malibang, sorry for the term, uh, in anak siya, ganun siya magdula-dula anak. So, uh, I don't know nga nung in anak yung explanation niya. So, sa anal stage, gikan sa one year old to three years old. That's according to Simon Freud. Pag dilik daw ni siya mag-fix, ang bata daw, kasi pag buda ko siya, hugawan kay siya. Pag dilik siya mag-agit fixation, so hugawan kay siya, so mag-struggle siya. Uh, kung masubraan ko ni siya fix, so ang bata, very ano kay siya, kanang kini say tawag an eh, particular uh, on the things sa eh, hang surround grabe ka limpyada sobra na po siya ka limpyada kung nanay bisita silang balay ginasunod-sunod na niya o kanang silihin ang tiil or ang mat so in ana siya it's dili po kay siya dili po siya uh, good uh, ang gina point lang niya diri is dapat sa bata pa lang ana nga stage dapat mo fix na siya mo agi na siya fixation nga ginatawag so proceed Alright, kani ang pinaka-controversial, ang phallic stage. Okay, sa 3 to 6 years old, according to uh, Simon Freud, dito sa phallic stage, 
ang bata daw becomes aware of anatomical sex differences. Kabalo siya nga babae siya, kabalo siya nga lalaki siya. So, kabalo siya sa iyang sex differences. Kabalo siya nga na siya vagina, ang babae. Kabalo siya nga na siya penis, ang lalaki. So, that's uh, um, gina point of the risapalic stage. Which sets in the motion of conflict between erotic attraction. Oh my gosh. Muna ni siya ginatawag. Erotic attraction. Uh, actually, I really love to discuss this because this is one of my favorite subjects during my college days. Uh, this is Jed 212 in Angst, the Child and Adolescence. Alright, okay, let's proceed. Erotic attraction. Na siya uh, erotic attraction. Maka-feel siya o ka ng comfort zone. Maka-feel siya o ka ng, ka ng warm. Ana, good word mo. Ano yung, ano ba, comfortable siya. Ana, and na po siya resentment, rivalry, and mag, mag, magka-jealousy. Yeah. And fear, which fruit, ginatawag ni ni fruit, of Oedipus complex and Electra complex. Alright? This is quite interesting. When we say Oedipus complex, sa lalaki niha, Oedipus complex, mo ni siya ang, uh, ang lalaki, maka magselo siya sa iyang papa, ang lalaki nga bata, na siya tendency, na siya point sa iyang life, gira ang nga. Pag close ka, makita niya iyang mama o papa maglabing-labing, magselo siya. So gusto niya siya lang ang ilabing-labing sa iyang, sa iyang mama. Gusto siya mo siya magagag sa iyang mama. Very, ano siya sa Maka-feel siya ang erotic attraction, dira aba. This is based on the Greek mythology. I, I, uh, may si Oedipus, nagipatay niya iyang papa, kagipakasla niya iyang mama. So, that's uh, based on there. In, in opposite naman, we have Electra Complex. Ang mga bata ng babae na siya uh, erotic attraction eh, sa iyahang uh, papa. So, ma-feel niya ang rivalry o jealousy sa iyahang mama. Mag-selos siya kung maglaming-laming iyag iyang mama ang papa. Feel niya kaya dapat siya lang. Ana, good. Ana, iyahang ma-feel. So, that's, ano, that's, that's actually... Uh, what Simon Fruits became uh, controversial with this study kay tungod ani iyahang uh, kini study sa psychosexual analysis okay uh, bitaw di ba have you observed also with the stage mas close ang babae nga bata sa iyahang papa and mas close ang lalaki nga bata sa iyahang mama di ba as based on experiences, uh, very ano siya, controversial. Pero uh, for me, ako no, maobserbahan po na ako siya based uh, personally because I have uh, four siblings uh, and I have a lot of cousins. Kasi sa tanan mo, maiyaga ako ang pinakamagula. <laughs> So, makita na ko siya, ay din sa mga mga silingan, sa mga movies. So, manotice yun mo siya, actually. Na, basit. Inood. Basit. Uh, uh, <laughs> right Lahat din si stage, or, di ba? Gikan din to sa katong phallic stage. Ni proceed na ang bata sa latin si stage. Six years to puberty. Hantun magdalaga na siya o maulitaw na siya. Okay. Kani daw din nga stage. Usually, mga elementary years na ni diri ano, mga grade grade Three, grade two. Uh, I don't know kay ano mang ko nag uh, four ko na grade one, five uh, four, four ko na grade one kaya wala pa man kinder. Wala ko na kinder good. Uh, Ambot lang sa inyo nga pero feeling ako grade three na ko ane grade uh, two. Ay ko sure. Or grade three na ko ane. Um, okay. Uh, Diri sa Latin si stage, mawala daw tong katagong na feel sa bata na erotic uh, attraction. Mawala daw to siya, mahupas siya. Oo na, ang mga bata, diri, dili na siya aware sa iya. Wala na siya ala. Bisan, pag magdula-dula sila, balay-balay, no? Magdula sila, balay-balay, magkuan-kuan sila, dira. Wala na na sila yung feel, ana. It's actually, kana nature na sa bata, explain na niya sa Latin si stage nga. Uh, ang bata daw yan ang stage, bisan pag dula-dula sila o sex-sex, balay-balay, uh, mag ana wala siya yung ma-feel because wala, wala pa na, wala, wala na siya sa ilahang sarili. 
So, nawala na siya. Unaware na sila silang self. Isang pagka na mag-kiss-kiss na sila, magdula na sila, yung magka-kiss na sila. Wala lang na sila. Dili sila maka- dili na nila ma- dili mo init nilang lawas. So, yan ana ang explain dira sa Latin stage. And here it comes sa genital stage. Diba, gikan sa phallic stage na asya erotic attraction. Abot sa latency stage, nawala siya. Pag balik niya sa puberty, hantod sa adult niya, sa genital stage, sinasabi ko sa iyo. <laughs> sa genital stage, ni balik yung aggressive, uh, aggressiveness yung sarili mo. Nang usually, uh, as commonly we have observed in our society, daghantag cases sa premarital sex and premarital na kanang uh, daghag sa diri na stage sa 13 uh, 15 na uh, 14 na uh, 13 14 15 16 17 18 daghan kay dira oh, mga mga buntis nga no mga they cannot control their sa uh, ang uban dili makakontrol sa ilang sarili because uh, wala kay na natarong og fix sa ilang sarili So that's the struggle now mas uh, ano sila bro na move na apit na ako mga na ano sila ba kanang word di balik og araw sila hang sexual interest dira ah all right let's, let's back here okay na sabtan all right sige let's proceed to Uh, our next let's continue our lesson here okay here naman kay John Piaget's theory of cognitive development na shy for uh, stages we have sensory motor stage pre-operational stage concrete operational stage and formal operational stage okay let me share to you the ko ano yung John Piaget. Actually, Jean Piaget, ano nang siya, pero ano mo professor, it's John Piaget. So, ito nag board exam ni Jean Piaget, yun ang mong basa na kay or dilit na mo malimtan ang spelling. Right? We have here, sensory motor stage, bikan daw sa birth to two years, pre-operational stage, age two years old to seven, concrete operational stage, ages seven to eleven, Formal operational stage at ages 12 and up. Let's proceed. So sensory motor stage daw, uh, characteristics or developmental changes niya, ang infant knows the world through their movements and sensations. Diba hilig sila magunit-gunit? Magunitan yung mga kamot sa bata. Diba gunitan dyan siya? Because active yung sensory motor stage niya. Excuse me. Children learn about the word through basic actions such as sucking, grasping, uh, looking, and listening. Infants learn that things continue to exist even though they cannot be seen. Uh, they are separate beings from the people and objects around them. They realize that their actions can cause things to happen in the world around them. Kala pag mohilak sila, hilak sila taman. So, so kabalo na sila pag mahilak sila taman, kargahon sila sa ilang mama or baka noon sila. So, inanak na ang mga uh, characteristics nila. Uh. In pre-operational stages, stage naman, we have here, children begin to think symbolically, learn to use words and pictures to represent objects. Kabalo na na sila mo uh, represent, uh, gamit ang mga pictures and words. Uh, to represent objects usually kani mga deriga stage kabi na ni ka mga bright ng mga bata children at this stage tend to be egocentric and struggle to see things from their perspective of others okay this is a struggle naman for this stage uh, I say egocentric feeling nila sila lang ang tama muhilak sila pag dili sila palitan dulaan muhilak sila pag dili ihatag sa ilang gusto so uh, this is actually common to this stage pre-operational stage While they are getting better with language and thinking, they still tend to think and about things in very concrete terms. So, masak lang ganit ko na ako mga 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 grabe. Hindi mo ko yung sa una yung grabe sila katabihan. Okay. 
major characteristics and developmental developmental changes in concrete operational stage we have 7 to 11 years during this stage children begin to think logically about concrete events so kabalo sila na for example kabalo sila nga ang gamay nga baso ug ang dako ug ang taas nga baso bisan pagpareha lang nga tubig ang gibong gibutang kabalo na sila nga pareha na na sila ah, kaya na nila ma uh, ma distinguish na kung same lang ba na sila ang amount sa water or daily. They begin to understand the concept of conservation, that the amount of liquid in short, white cup is equal to the tall skinny glass, for example. Uh, this is what uh, I am talking about. Ang um, same amount sa water, ibutang sa uh, mubo nga baso, lapad nga baso, o sa kini, taas nga baso, pero same lang siya amount, kabalo na sila, nga same na siya. Lahit-lahit lang, lang sila sa lanan. Diri man good sa uh, pre-operational stage kung pangutan ni mo ang bata asa ang mas asa ang mas daghan so pili on jud niya tong taas nga baso kaysa same lang good siya so yanana siya for example ang bis isa ka biscuit nga dako pikas pikaso ni mo siya mas pili on gyapot sa bata tong daghan kay daghan siya pero diri sa uh, operational uh, concrete operational stage kabalo na siya nga equal day na siya their thinking becomes more logical and organized, but still very concrete. Children begin using inductive logic or reasoning from specific information and general principle. Kabalo na ni sila mo rason deria. Formal operational stage, 12 years old and up. At this stage, adolescent or young begins to think abstractly and reason about hypothetical problems. Kabalo ni sila mo think and possible solutions and uh, any problems that they encountered. Kabalo na na sila. Kabalo na ga. So, na magiginda ko kabalo ni. Makasala ni kamo. Kabalo na kamo. <laughs> Mangitag pa maagi. Abstract through emerges. Uh, teens begin to think more about moral, philosophical, ethical, social, and political issues that require theoretical and abstract reasoning. Begin to use deductive logic, reasoning from a general principle to specific information. Kabalo na na sila makuha. Mugugimahimay sa mga informations. So, they can able to think now. So, what are those four stages? According to John J sa uh, developmental theory, we have sensory motor pre-operational stage, uh, uh, concrete operational stage, and formal operational stage. Okay, let's proceed to, let's actually proceed to, tapos naman tayo dito, no? We have here conventional morality. We have here Lawrence Colbert's stages of moral development. So we have here pre-conventional morality. Um, but as a pre, as a level one at a duaka stage, uh, obedience and punishment orientation. So ang bata kabalo na siya sa consequences na kung buhato niya ni, possible na pwede siya makasabang sa yung mama. Individualism and exchange. At this stage, children recognize there is such a right view and handed down by authorities. Different individuals have different viewpoints. Kabalo sila. Sa so level 2, conventional morality. Mas morag kabalo na sila matik there. Good interpersonal relationship. Kabalo na sila matik dula sa inyong kasauban. Anakay good interpersonal relationship to others. Or individual good in order to be seen and good in person and others. Therefore, and so... It's a good boy characteristics. Kana gong abuato na ko ni para makita nila nga good ko sa ilaha. Sa ina na sa this stage mo na sa ang ginapasubot this stage. Stage four, maintaining social order. The child or individual becomes aware of the wider rules in the society. So judgment, concern, obeying the rules in order to uphold the law and avoid guilt. So kabalo siya ng pagmangawat siya. Bawal na siya and possible, pwede siya mapriso ana. So, aware na na siya ana. So, post-conventional morality, we have stage 5, social contract and individual rights. So, becomes aware na rules and laws may exist for, exist for good and greatest number. There are times when they will work against the interests of particular individuals. The issues are not always clear-cut. For example, in this incident, when the protection of life is more important than breaking the law against stealing. Okay.
katumaning, um, are you familiar with this story? Katong nangawat siya o sa convert something nangawat siya kay para itambal ipalit uh, ito kanang murag kanang hospital iyang mama i don't for i just forget na hospital iyang mama tapos wala na sila kwarta so naghilibog siya kung sa kabalo siya nga kabalo siya nga mali ang mga wat pero uh, kabalo man gud siya nga pag kana na lang ang only way para maligtas siyang mama sa so, iyang gibuhat so this is the social contract and individual rights during a stage sa stage 6 universal principles focuses on human rights justice and equality the person will be prepared to up defend on these principles even if it means going against the rest of the society press having disapproval or imprisonment Colbert doubted few uh, reach at this stage so human prince human rights judge siya. so for example this is a great issue on the uh, campaign good sa uh, war against drug so dere na nisulod ang universal principle katong kabalo na mo isya okay we have here uh, eric erickson's psychosocial analysis uh, quite di ano lang po niya ang ano psychosexual di mura di connect connect lang niya ba si eric erickson nagibotang siya og uh, eight stages of psychosocial crisis nga nang ginatawag man ni crisis kay kada stages to sa tao natay ka nang kailangan ma fix nga crisis so first one is we have trust versus mistrust so between 0 to 1 and 1 half years old so diri so pag ma develop na to ni tarong maka uh, hatag siya hope sa to uh, maka develop tag virtue na hope so for example this is trust versus mistrust so pag ang bata uh ani mo siya cha chance na musalik sa imo para naman for example uh ingon nimo nga tagaan ta ka og kanang uh, pagkaon dapat limpyuhan nimo na siya so dapat imo pud siya after niya maghinlo dapat tagaan nimo siya kun og kanang kining katong imo ni promise kay para dili na siya ma-break yang trust so kung yun anil ang siya permitin na siya mag-doubt di inigda ko anak niya niya uh, possible maka-apekto na sa iya na na siya yung ganang trust issues hindi siya maka-develop o hope so kung karun mang good di sunat ang musali <laughs> sure yun anak possible sa pagkabata at uh, na ay nahita mo anak ng amoray something wala siya na fix sa atong parents autonomy versus shame and doubt uh, kani, gitagaan mo ang bata o uh, kining chance to build his own uh, decision at the same time with your guidance. Pero kung, for example, uh, kanang kina-arrange ni, for example, i-arrange ni ang mga gamit, ang mga dulaan, pero kung, for example, kung kina-arrange niya, permitin mo kasabahan, ay, kalat, yapon na, kalat, 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 kasabahan niya, yaponin mo siya. So, uh, maka ano na siya maka build siya of shame and doubt sa iyang sarili so therefore uh kini dili uh, balance sa iyang pagdako so kung pero kung maka develop siya autonomy kini brag ka nang gaani mo siya chance ba nga to uh kanang be responsible with the, uh, his or her actions so possible maka develop siya of will all right in initiative versus guilt uh, kani ang bata diri tagaan mo siya og kining uh, kining chance ang uh, muhatag sa opinion and kay kung dili kung for example sige ni mo siya kanang kuan uh, magilti man siya sa iyang sarili ay uh, dili guro siya kanang kuan ana dili enough iya ang kanang kuan so in ana siya so dili siya maka build og virtue na purpose industry versus inferiority kani siya uh, kini example kan pugihan nga bata good so tagaan mo siya chance pud nga ang bata tagaan mo siya chance diri ang uh, uh, maka accomplish sa og task pag dili man good siya maka uh, or maka build siya og inferiority murag basta something negative siya i mean uh, dili siya yung ana ka competitive nga bata so here the very crucial one 
identity versus role confusion sa 12 years old to 18 years old. Usually, di ba, dirigid mugawas ang identity versus role confusion. Kung saan man akong purpose sa life, kung saan man ko, asa man siya ko, kinsa man siya para sa ko, ah, sa yun, ana siya. Usually, yun, ana ang thinking ani during nga stages, na ages sa bata. So, uh, kung saan man siya akong, di ba, starting to find a college career a course diri so usually diri gusto siya mag gusto siya mag, gusto siya mag uh, teacher so nag enroll siya teacher kay mo siya ang ending dili day siya pwede dili day siya compatible ana dili day to para sa iya so nag cheat nag shift siya or other course so usually na siya ka nang kay ko andiri ka identity versus role confusion kay nang murag naglibog siya sa iyang sarili unlike sa I don't know, nakalimot ko ha, itong akong professor kasi, uh, nag-travel siya, nag-travel sila sa, kini, asa ah, to sila nag-travel, uh, sa Vietnam, from Thailand to Vietnam, na sila nakasakay, na foreigner. I don't know, nakalimot ko, asa to dapat, asa siya gikan na foreigner. Pero ana mo yung teacher na, ay mo professor na, ah, the culture without that country daw ipangutan na mga nila ang katong ko ay chismis chismis sila dito no? nga nung nag-travel travel he nag-travel lang siya around the world after day nila mag-graduate of uh, high school pinatagaan sila like, two years to travel along around the world to find themselves dili sa sila mag-proceed of college so usually yun na ang culture daw dito Dili sila mo proceed o college rich. Pangitaon sa nila ilang self. I mean, pangitaon nila kung unsa man yun ang gusto nila sa ilang sarili for two years. And after that, pag makita na nila, they will enroll to college na. So, yun ana siya ilaha dito. So, pag yun ana mang good. Uh, as another example for identity versus role confusion, during a stage, puli-puli o buyab, anong man. Because, uh, karon feeling niyo mo compatible siya para sa imo ha. The other man, Three days siya compatible sa emo. So, murag, ina na, na fall out of love ka. Actually, that's not love. That's a, uh, kining, or sina-sina lang. Pero, depende na. Depende, depende siya. Depende sa inyo. Okay, here, intimacy versus isolation. Oh my God, murag, darin ako ng stage. Intimacy versus isolation. Sa intimacy, manggol ka na, murag, nagapingita na ka o ka ng partner in life to settle down. Ina na, good ka na, murag, uh, dapat na nakai starting to build your own career na starting to build your own career na for yourself because pag dili ni mo na mamit ang intimacy possible maguma ato ka sa isolation so delikado siya i isolate ni mo yourself from the others so mo na siya kung dili ni mo siya ma 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 meet ang intimacy sa imong sarili i mean dili ni mo ma meet imo ang gusto sa imong kinabuhi so possible magka isolate mo ana Mga talagang guwang. Sorry na. <laughs> Inala siya. Okay. Generativity versus stagnation. Okay. Diri. More than 40 years old to 65. Ay, diri dahil intimacy versus isolation. So, pag maka-build ni mo ni intimacy o tarong sa possible, you will be love. Kakaan ka ng uh, wisdom. Okay. Gener generativity versus stagnation. Usually, sa ito ni mga mama at papa. Uh, generativity Mostly, yung focus on yung stage is to ano na siya ka na uh, magpadako o bata, ano siya, magpagapadako silang mga anak, mahappy na na sila, makita ilang mga anak na nag-grow. Pero, uh, in the latter part naman, pag dili mo na ma-meet ang generativity, possible mas stagnant ka. What do we mean stagnant? Pili mo mo ka na, murag wala, wala na irog imong life, ano, murag wala kay, wala kay, wala kay pulo sa earth, you know? You know what I mean? Kana inana siya. So, it is very important to develop generativity for maka kan ka always uh, kini virtue na care. All right. Last stage, we have ego integrity versus despair. Ah, uh, kani diri ya sa tunay mga lolo o lola, mo na na sila mga ingi ka binajud ka attitude, di ba? May sa unang panahon, yun ani chud ni, ani ani, dapat kani, yun ani pud mo, so yun ana good. Then, uh, usually, pagkasama, uh, magyaw-yaw ka, ano, very sensitive na ni sila na part, 
nga mapila na nila nga pag na makapila sila o kanang kuan kanang usually dali na sa puton kanang basta tigulang na uh, sensitive na ni sila kadungog sa giyaw yaw feeling nila sila na ginayaw-yawan ana good so uh, kanidiri nga stage so if you know uh, uh, if you know this kining psychosocial theories of Eric Erikson you can able to adjust naman makasabtan nimo sila nga no yun ana ilang attitude because of this integrity versus despair and in ana all right let's uh proceed all right kita okay, taas siya no pero sige lang laban lang ta okay let's proceed to uh kaya pa ni kaya pa kaya okay Pasa tayo Lawrence Colbert, Eric Erickson, tapos na tayo. Dito naman sa George Herbert Mead. According to me, greatly emphasizes his theory, personality, identity, a product of social experience. So, ang sa ito ito mga experience, motong ito ang sarili yakon. According to him, people exchange ideas in a manner that is symbolic and meaningful. Itong magamit na ito. And he plays importance upon how people perceive themselves and how these perceptions are greatly in affected by social interactions. Okay, many social scientists based on their theories of personality and identity development on the nature versus nurture debate. Okay? So, hangak. Alright. Norms and values. When we say norms and values, we say norms, these are the rules or expectations that guide the behaviors of members of the society. For example, dapat ka nang bilik ka mag bilik ka magkiat kiat kaya na nata kaya bilik ka mag kanang magla magla agla ay bilik ka mag kanang kining bas kana gawon term nila nga kung pataan na kaya get ka ayos so ina na good para bilik ka maingin na na sa kabalo ng kaana dapat proper ways to handle yourself. That's the rules or expectations ng good na inaasa tong society. So, na, aware ta na nga norm, so we will apply that naman para malikaya na ito. Uh, norms are important factors in keeping peace and order. So, for example, uh, kabaluta nga bawal mong rape. So, yun ana siya. They set the standards what is acceptable, di ba? Ano, acceptable din na. Uh, I don't, nakalimut ko, nakalimut ko, at ang uh, nakabasa ko. There are countries na lahat po nilang norms ito. They have these taboos that they call. Gina-offer nila, pag nasa lay bisita, gina-offer nila lang asawa sa bisita. So sa ito, alili na siya acceptable. So depende na siya sa society. For instance, it is cultural norm in Asian countries to pay respect to elderly. Siyempre, masagpaan yung tag din nato sila respeto on. In order to guide, encourage, and perform it in your own members of the society, real sanctions or rewards. Kani, pwede ka ma-please. So, jaywalking. So, that's part of the norms. Kabalo. Pero, there is a panabo. Actually, I have the story. First time na ako, there is a panabo. Namang ba yung traffic light? Dahil mong good sa tagong, sa kunandan nga. Wala pa yung may traffic light ato nga time. So, pag-transfer na ako, there is a way back 2018. Sa panabo. Ka ng literal good nga nagahulat yung ko nga mag ka ng nag-aagage ko pedestrian, nagahulat yung ko nga mag-stop ang mga katungkuan good before kumutabo. Ang ending di ay kinakalarin di ay kung wala di ay nanas. Actually, naasya pero wala di ay ginapractice ang mga tao. So, inana siya. Okay. Mores. We have, we have a uh, type of norm. Mores or ang ginagdinabasan is ang mores. These are norms that are widely observed in society and pose heavy moral significance. Examples, Ani is cheating on entrance exam. Ha ha ha, mag screenshot pa sa ilahang classmate. Faking and plagiarizing important documents. Teasing about uh, bombs and explosives in public transport. Uh, Nako story, Ani. Actually, bago pa ni siya di pa, di, di pa batas. And we, uh, I'm aware ni, aware ko personally, ni, ni, ato mi atong, ato gong, talentado, talentado, 
<laughs> katong murag, katong kay Regine ko nang nag-host. Sa nag, 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 taping ko sila sa tago mga tong at Alice. Nang atong is, oh mga tos. Hindi <laughs> check kita sa, sa police to ang yeah, akong bag sa umis. Ano po siya? <laughs> Nabayan ni Bumba Chief. <laughs> Actually, higit kasabaan siya. Kaya nga, no, bawal na siya. It can cause trouble. That's example. Say, fuck ways. Katong adlaw-adlaw na to mga mga uh, observahan. These are norms that are observed in casual routine. Encounters are considered less significant. Dili ka siya kanang bugat iyahang kuan. Dili ka bugat iyahang a punishment. Pero, uh, hindi mo rag live food o dili mo siya kanang sundun. For example, wearing t-shirt and jeans to a formal gathering. So, uh, so many ways. Refusing to eat fruits and vegetables. Submitting an assignment via the deadline. That's a uh, fuck ways. For example, ka nang magtarong usuot sa simbahan. So, yun ang nagod. Social control. Mm -hmm. Or ways by people's action, society regulated or controlled. Ano yun eh? Ibi yung one by new. Perfect. Kung ganyan yung exam. Okay. Values are culturally defined standards that are seen as good and acceptable, desirable, and serve as a broad guidelines of living. This, uh, anisha, it's what the society has labeled to be, uh, to become what? To good, become good, katanggap tanggap, and, uh, more in a desirable. So, this is what we call values. Okay. Uh, we have here, let's proceed to nor, uh, sorry, mm, statuses and statuses and rules. All right. Same status, single, complicated, or Okay, it's a social position that a person holds. Okay, back to our history, it could be realized that statuses had been forged in our past since ancient times with people garnering higher status from various social activities, events, and prestige. Alright. Status set. Status set is composed of various statuses that a person holds at once. Okay. Sa Philippine setting alone, we could have social statuses as part of pre-colonial and colonial history before ang Spaniards Kaya about sa Philippines, nanatay divide, uh, statuses divided into three groups. We have Maharlika. Siya ang leader and consists of the leader and his family. Sunod, the Timawa or the common folk. Sunod is a Lipin or slaves. We have classifications of slaves. Our guards, we have a Lipin na mamahay and katong isa good, a Lipin sa gigilid. Okay. Aliping na mamahay, stay in. Aliping sa gigilid ka itong stay out. Di ba? Alright. Indios. Ngunit tawag sa mga Pilipino sa una. Lowest member of the society. Pag ikuanin mo na siya itong, itong old dictionaries. Pag search mo na siya sa dictionary ang Indios. Usually, ang makabutang niya is Filipinos. You know, it's just slaves, Filipinos. Uh, we have type of status, ascribe and achieve. When we say ascribe, it's a position that a person receives at the birth or involuntarily or in life. Ang achieve is social position that is voluntary acquired. Ascribe, ipanganap ka nga babae, ipanganap ka nga lalaki, inanak ka, inanak siya. Ipanganap ka nga, ako, ipanganap ka nga itong. So, <laughs> that's ascribe the status. All right. Ipanganap ka nga queen. Huwag kay choice. Kaya ipanganap ka nga queen. Ay eh, queen. Ipanganap ka nga princess. Ipanganap ka nga prince. Sa so, anak siya. Children of wealth of families have more financial freedom opportunities than children of low income families. Sa so, anak siya. Ipanganap ka nga dato. So, anak siya. Ipanganap. That's the position na person nga nadawat na to itong may panganap ta. Pero, pwede na siya ma-change when we proceed to achieve. So, it's a social position that is voluntary effort and reflects a person's effort and ability. So, for example, bisan pag ipanganap ka, there is a scribe, ipanganap ka ng pobre, pero because of your pagpaningkamot and pagporsigi sa life, nakahiman ka, nahimok ang abogado or nahimok ang doctor, engineer, what else. So, ako nakagrambo sa society, thus, this is what we call achieve status. Right? Did you get it? Okay, 
we have here role. When I say role, it is a behavior expected from someone who is holds a particular social status. Kung sa may role ni mo dira, as a parent, kung sa role ni mo, as a student, kung sa role ni mo, inana siya. As a kuya, role ni mo sa mga mga, i-protect mo manghod. As mother, the role sa mother, uh, uh, um, padako ng mga bata. Ang role sa father, uh, magka ng atiman, I mean, maghatag of financial uh, assistance sa family, mag-guide sa family, mag-protect sa family. Sa so, ina siya. Ang role sa doctor, uh, to cure the sick. Ang role sa abogado, uh, uh, to defend. Uh, ina na siya. Ang role set naman, when say role set, it's the, for example, uh, for example, ika, sudyante ka. So, when we say a role set, when you will become a student, di lang man kay uh, maminaw ka, maura na yung role. You have a lot of roles to do class activities, participate, do his projects, assignments, answer quizzes, submit teacher's evaluation forms. Actually, these are the role set ni mo. Koha? Role conflict. Kaning role conflict, uh, it's pwede ni siya, for example, ng uh, working mom, di ba? Aside from being a mother, it's a career woman po siya. That's actually quite hard. Uh, Magka-conflict siya. Mag Usahay, for example, dili na siya kadalo sa family uh, family day sa iyang anak because sa iyang trabaho. So, iyan anak siya usahay. So, that's what we call role conflict. Kung saman iyang unahon, ang iyang pagkamama o ang iyang pagkakareer woman. So, iyan anak siya. That's an example. Role strain, of course, when the there is tension involved with one status. Example, professor to his students. Ideally, professor should be approachable by students. However, dapat approachable sila sa ilang studente. However, pag maging mo o grado, maging mo gapon silang big, mahi, dapat sila maging mo professional na in dealing with it para maaaw kung ang bias. Let's, for example, sa abogado, I-defend man niya iyang client. Bisan pag ano iyang client, bisan pag mali or dili, kung unsa ang iyang side, mo dito dapat iyang i-defend. Sa so, inyong anak siya ang role strain. Role exit. Okay. Nawala ka sa iyong kasanay, kasanayan. For example, ang pari, diba, ang role sa pari, mag-preach, mag pero, i-exit siya anak nagninyo siya so nabago iya ang role so that's an example of role exit all right did you get it i guess that's the uh, whole ano of our lesson so today i will not be giving you an activity but for the next week i will be giving you another activity so just wait so, it is very important karon na naamu ani, nakatanaw mo ani. Kung wala mo na tanaw, yun natin yung mga pasit na magtanaw mo ani. Kay, bahalag boring akong nahong. <laughs> because it is very important. Also, kay naay mo gawa sa exam, mawala sa paper. Nasa akong hiya at tagdariya. So, especially psychosocial by Eric Erickson, psychosexual by John Piaget J. Ay, sorry, Simon Prude. Uh, cognitive Development Stage of John Piaget, uh, Lawrence Colbert na uh, Conventional Stages. Right? I think that's it's too much. Pero sige lang, laban lang siya. Uh, kaysa rabi to sa six semana mag-meet. So, I know ABM 1 kaya-kaya. Kaya-kaya apit ang exam. So, laban lang. So, see you on and the next topic. Bye-bye, everyone. Uh -huh, uh -huh. It's almost 10.09 in the evening. So, ikutong na ko. Bye, keep safe. Love ya. <laughs>